So welcome back to more Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. Let's get a mission going. Flying Sparks. Let's let's do that. Oh, there's Axe. Interesting. Any intel mm -hmm. on that special payload they're expecting? No. Just that it's a game changer. That's why we need you to infiltrate the yard and get the shipping manifests. We need to know who should It's so hot in here right now. Damn. I was hoping for fireworks. Of course. Well, intel says the separatists have been stockpiling fuel in a load of on-site tanker cars. Enough to send the whole rail yard kaboom. Well, that would do in the fireworks department. All it takes is a single spark. Just looking at all the different sniper rifles we have. I'll do my best. Out. All right, let's go infiltrate the train depot. Catch you when we get there. So today I was watching a video from. I can't. I can't think of the guy's name. Um, it's down something. He does all those. Did X game video. I mean, like he does those. Uh, did X game fail type of videos and uh, he made a video I think his name was called like downward spiral or something like that downgrade down, down something something with a D but he was basically he was complaining that the developer of this game uh, tried to get his video his uh, criticism video taken down because yada 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 you know he gave a bad review, or he gave a bad, he was, you know, criticizing it, and um, he feels like it was wrong for them to try to take down his video, but the, but at the same time, it's like, they, um, he, he released his impressions video before uh, the, he was allowed to actually upload anything like that, and he was, he was still upset about it, and I'm like, dude, you, you broke the embargo, it's not their fault. And, you know, basically, he was trying to make it seem like, you know, channels like him that are quote-unquote honest and tell it like it is are, uh, you know, they're always being targeted by developers and, you know, fanboys and this and that because they, they don't, you know, they often criticize games instead of giving praise and yada, yada, yada. And you know, they feel like they're going, they're they're being treated unfairly. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, dude, shut up. I mean, really. First off, don't try to talk about being, you know, targeted because it's one thing. The whole the whole criticism thing. That's that's what's popular right now. You know, it's one thing to criticize a game. It's another. to, uh, you know, how do I send the drone? Okay, it's another thing to, you know, get hate because, you know, you like a game that's being criticized, that's being, that's popular to be criticized right now, you know? You know how many times I've said I've liked, I like a game that uh, is popular to hate on? And just received hate out the ass for it. So don't don't make it seem like you know this is such a one-sided thing, and you know people who quote unquote kiss ass are uh, you know they're treated so much better than the people who critique. Because in reality, it's really the opposite. It's the other way around from what I've seen. So it's like really, man. Really, man. I don't know. That, stuff like that bothers me because I know for a fact that I firsthand have experienced, you know, uh, receiving hate because I decided that I cannot. that I like a game and don't hate it. And, you know, I refuse to buy into the hate wagon. I received. I've received hate for that, and I don't know, that, that bothers me, that, that level of arrogance 
to where you think, like, first and foremost, reviews, let's face it, are nothing but opinions. They, they really aren't. Basically, it's, hey, this game does this, this game does that, this game doesn't do this, this game doesn't ha do that, this game has bugs, this game doesn't have bugs, here's what I like about the game, here's what I don't like about this game. In my opinion, things that I've listed, they either make this a good game or they make this a bad game. That's essentially all a review is. People, people, they get so full of their opinion. Over. that you know they try to pass instead of you know just admitting that that reviews are objective they always try to make it seem like I mean that they're subjective they always try to make it seem like oh, I'm being treated so unfairly because you know I view games objectively and yada yada no you really don't it's still just your opinion that's all it is whether you want to admit it or not it's nothing but your opinion There is no way to objectively review a game. It's just not possible. The only way you'd ever be able to objectively review a game is if you just listed what it does. It just doesn't make any sense to me. But, I don't know. Rant over. I just... I did not appreciate that level of, oh, I'm a victim because... Uh, I, I mostly give negative opinions instead of positive opinions because I know plenty of people, myself included, who do the exact opposite and still get hated on. I can't count how many times I've, you know, received some hate for saying I like Resident Evil 6 or saying, you know, I think uh, 343's Halos are better than Bungie's Halos or, you know, giving the, the later Halos a, a, a positive score and not, you know nitpicking the hell out of it for views and yada yada it's just like really dude don't don't even all right let's get to this i'm probably gonna screw up the sniping but you never know what you gotta be kidding me you gotta be kidding me <sighs> why? Why does this game do this? Okay, we're good. Uh, uh. Like, I'm not saying this game is perfect by a long shot. That right there proves it, but... When it works, it's pretty good. It just doesn't work often. Okay, let's set up shop. <sighs> let's get our trusty bipod out. What? Oh, I don't have a bipod on this. No, no. Reload. Still the transports. Transport files in the main depot. How far? How far away is this guy? Let's get that elevation up. Let's go ahead and bring it to like 150. There's another down. At about a 250. Let's bring it up to 200. Oh! Spring the drone back around.
Alright, I think it's time to infiltrate. So that's what we're gonna do. Shit, is there a way to get down here without killing myself? I don't think so. Oh, okay. We're alright. We're alright. Good. I want to take this guy out. <clears throat> I don't see anybody else patrolling around. Maybe I can grab this guy while... Oh, shit. He's looking my way. I think. I'm probably gonna screw this up. What? What? Oh my god, really? It's all over now, I might as well not even bother. I'm trying to be stealthy. Let's move up. If we can just get the plans and go, we're good to go. At least, if we get the plans and then we kill everybody here, we're good. Or I can hide it. What is this, Outlast? There we go. There's no reason not to off everybody here. Nice. Didn't see a thing. We are surrendered. Don't shoot us. I don't want to fight. I have no way. Lost eyes on the target. He's somewhere. What is this? Oh, nice. I know nothing. Don't kill me. We're on our we're not a threat. Frame rate's dipping a bit. I know nothing. But I gotta be where he is, so I'm just gonna hope that he doesn't see me. The valve to dump the fuel. Okay, working on it. The fuel. it just vanished. Should probably not get the fuel on me. 
Okay. We're good. We're golden. That's where I killed that one dude. I'm surprised they're so generous with the sprint. Okay, we're good. I'm surprised I pulled this mission off so well. I need to buy a bipod for this thing now. How far away is it? Nice. Exfiltrate. You mean like right here? Oh, I got a new gun. That transport manifest you stole. It's vague, but we found it includes heavy duty cisterns. We're talking specifications to transport the most toxic possible chemicals. Shipping from Russia. Handwritten notes from David mentions a flow stuff. One of the heads of our double-headed snake. Yeah. David and Thomas. Biggest, baddest separatist leaders. Slithering around a lethal cell that should be named Cancer. So who's Flostov? Russian? Right. Some scientist. Now here's the really interesting part. As soon as Flostov's name came up, Mossad came down on us hard. Seems they're also looking for this guy. Is Mossad gonna be a help or a hindrance here? That's what you're going to find out, John. You've got a meet and greet in a nearby region. Somewhat neutral territory, if any place in this godforsaken area is neutral. I'll see what's up. Is there anything more I should know? No, John. Sorry. No further intel on Robert. Jesus Christ, where is he? Knowing him, he's hiding in plain sight, the sneaky bastard. He's good at what he does. And that's what will keep him alive. I'm doing everything I can, John. I know. But JSOC priority is analyzing everything we got on David and Thomas Sidemanitsa. You go get the lowdown on this flow stuff. Try to play nice with the Masani. Oh my god! Masad plays nice with me. Ow. I can't believe I got that off. Alright, I will see you guys back at the safe house. Unless it instantaneously transports me there, it probably will. Why am I saying see you guys back at the safe house? Like, you know, I'm traveling somewhere. I'm not. <laughs> I just press fast travel. Let's see what we got as far as... Is this thing customizable? Yes, it is. I don't have enough money for it. What? Come on, man. Ugh. Is there anything? Like, can I sell something? Oh, no. These use the same ammo type. Shit. I didn't take that into account. Yeah, that might be a problem. So I'm going to switch back to this. Okay. 
Yeah, I might have to do another mission before I can afford that new sidearm. That's fine. But we might want to make some more assault rifle bullets. I don't think I can make any. I'm gonna have to break something down. Can I break anything down? What's the point in these bullets? Having all these bullets if I can't do anything with them? I can't break any of them down. Oh, I have like one bullet. Uh, okay. Next mission. Hold on. I'm I'm really trying to understand how the mechanics here work. Do I seriously not have enough to do anything or Anyway, let's go into skills. They all take more points. <sighs> this is so frustrating, Lead. Confusing. Mm. All right, yeah, let's. Let's keep it moving. What time is it, actually? I want to take care of this mission at night. Oh, it, it's... Let's take care of this mission in the daytime. Anyway, I will catch you guys there. What the... I've been tracking your movements. What is this? Excuse me? Okay, him. Out. Was that a joke? Okay. Anyway, let's... Let's take off. Looks like we're here, a new safe house. Alright, let's get out. The vault does not work. I'm gonna be honest. It does not work. Like, I'm holding our, the right trigger. Nothing. <laughs> it just straight up does not work. Hi? So if we don't act quickly. About damn time, John. John North. I'm pleased to finally meet you in the flesh. It's nice to finally put a face to the voice. Likewise, Mr. North. But you're more magnetic on the radio, to be honest. And you are? Lydia. Ex-Georgian SFB. Hmm. So, why are you helping us? Mr. Sims has brought me up to speed on your fight against the Separatists. I believe we can serve each other's interests. I'm looking for a man. He's a high-priority target for Mossad. Who? Dr. Sergei Flostov. If you help me locate him, I will assist you in your efforts against the Separatists. As well as in other... activities. You have yourself Hello. a deal. What's the plan, Frank? If we can eliminate the leadership of these cells... Is that a Glock she has? Nice. Under their own it's not a walk in the park, however. Thomas Sidamonitsa and Ina Zakarayan are the leaders of the two strongest separatist cells operating in Georgia. They're also about to be wed. If they manage to merge their forces, the separatists will become a real threat to the sitting government. 
So, we pop one of them and make it look like a setup, let them take each other out after. You read my mind. JSOC has already signed off on neutralizing Sidamanitza. But where? The wedding is being held in Kozori in two days' time. I grew up near Kozori. I could sketch a city map. Good. You go on ahead and find a spot to scope the target. I'm on it. It's a wedding, so make sure there's a clear line of sight of the church. I know I can trust you, Lydia. Keep an open comm channel. Got it. Tick tock. Of course, Mr. North. Oh. A new safe house. Interesting. Anything new in the the cache? Nope. I do really want this though. That must be what she has. Anyway, let's get another mission going. Actually, you know what? That's going to be a good place to end this here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. Share this video around. Share it with your friends. Share it with other YouTubers. I don't care, guys. Do what you can do to help me out. I will catch you in the next part later on.